Okay, this is influence line for trusses. So, question is, draw the influence line for members U1, L2. Asan yun? U1, L2. Ayan. Next, L1, L2. Ito. And U1, L1. So, ito. Ayan. And then, ito. Pero ngayon, ang hanapin muna natin is U1, L2. Okay. First, na uh, gagawin natin dyan, we have to put our unit load. Okay, lagay natin. Unit load at okay, unit load at L1. So, maglagay daw tayo ng unit load dito. Bakit? Kasi, ito yung span na hinahanap natin. After makuha yung unit load natin dito, ilipat natin dito sa kabila. Kasi, dumadaan yung sasakyan, umaandar yan, nagmumove. Pero, we have to know their reaction. So, paano kumuha ng reactions? Okay? This is our RO and this is our R6. So, ang gagawin lang natin, 1 unit load, summation moment at 6 is equal to 0. So, summation moment at 6 is equal to 0. Clockwise is positive. So, ano yung clockwise dyan? We have RO. Okay? Multiplied by, this distance is 18 meters kasi, Ito ay 18 meters daw. 6 na take to 3 meters. Okay. Plus. Okay. Count, counter. Sorry. Clockwise. And then yung isa is counter. Minus 1.0 multiplied by. Ito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 3 times 5 is 15 meters. Is equal to 0. Therefore, our reaction RO is equivalent to 5 all over 6 or 15 all over 18. So, that is 5 all over 6. So, ilagay ko na rito ay 5 all over 6. 5 all over 6 minus 1 is roughly 1 all over 6 kilonewton. Tandaan nyo, sa influence line, hindi tulad to ng beam. Kasi yung beam, po ano yung reaction na nakuha mo kanina, yun na yung gagamitin mo. Dito sa influence line, kapag nasa left side ka, Ang una mong gagawin is kunin yung reaction kapag nasa right side ka o nilipat mo sa kabilang span, magbabago yung reaction niyan. Ito. Lagay natin 1 and 1. Section 1 at 1. Consider the left side. So, erase na natin to. Okay, ito. Pwede kong lagyan na azure theta and then this must be also your alpha and alpha. Since alpha is tangent, and so, we have 4 all over 3. Therefore, your alpha is 53.13 degrees. Kapag kukunin natin yung cosine nyan, that is 0.6. Pag kinuha naman natin yung sine alpha nyan, that is 0.8. Okay? Next, kunin natin, consider the, ayan, the L1. Or you need to do this L1. Consider the left section left section of 1-1. Okay? So, summation force is vertical. So, consider lang daw natin to. Ikakat ko yan. Pwede kong ikat, pwede hindi. Okay? So, nagyan lang natin ng color para mas makita. Red na lang yung color na gamitin natin. So, ito yung consider ko ha. Ayan. Left side. Left side, ito ha. Ayan line consider natin. Summation force is vertical is equal to 0. Vertical is equal to 0. Upward is all positive. Ano-ano yung mga upward natin dyan? We have 5 all over 6. Okay? Nagay natin. 5. Sorry. Sorry na yan. 5 all over 6. Ito. Minus 1.0 Meron pa ba? Meron pa. Ito yung kailangan natin i-govern. So, pwede kong gawin. Ito. Green na lang para mas. Alasin ko na lang pa. 1.0. So, this is U1L2. So, yung U1L2 natin, may theta din tayo dyan. Yung theta din natin dyan. Okay. Lagyan natin as theta. Yung theta dyan, ayan. Theta dyan, pwede ko nang balik na rin to. Ano po? Kasi, 
ko ah, parang complementary, complementary yan. So, we have cosine of theta is equal to 0.8 while yung sine ng theta naman is probably 0.6. Ayan. So, yan yung mga gagamitin natin dyan sa theta. So, ibig sabihin, ito, kapag kukunin natin this one, i-vertical yung component ng u1, l2, downward. So, negative, lagay natin, minus, minus u1, l2. Lagyan lang natin ng cosine. Ano ba yung cosine? Cosine of theta is equal to 0. So, transpose natin ito. Diba ito is 0.8? Ayan, lagay natin. Kahit lagay mo lang yung 0.8, okay na yan. Ayan, lagay natin 0.8. Ano ba yan? And 0.8. So, ibig sabihin, your U1, L2, transpose natin to sa kabila, it will become positive. Ayan na. And, 5 all over 6 minus 1. Ayan. So, divided by 0.8 and divided by 0.8, our U1, L1, is equivalent to 0 0.21. Negative 0.21. Ayan. May value na tayo. Negative 0.21. Okay? So, pwede na natin i-draw. So, ilagay natin dito U1, L1 is from 0 to negative 0.21. Okay? Next. Yung unit load naman natin dito, ilipat na natin sa kabila. So, paano natin ilipat yan? Alisin na natin to At ilipat natin yung gulong dito sa kabila. Pero ito, meron pa rin yan siyang number. So, ngayon magbabago na yung reaction natin. So, paano mag, ano na yung magiging reaction natin dyan? So, summation moment at 0 pa rin tayo is equal to... And mo, summation moment at 6 is equal to 0... Okay, so yan, unit load at L2, linipat natin yung gulong. Le consider pa rin yung left side nito, section 1, and 1 natin. So, summation moment at 6 is equal to 0, clockwise is positive. So, we have RO multiplied by 18 minus 1.0 multiplied by 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3 is 12 is equal to 0. So, RO is equal to 4 all over 6. So, pwede na natin ilagay dito 4 all over 6 agad. If this is 4 all over 6, ibig sabihin this is 2 thirds. Or 2 thirds or 1 third. Sorry, 1 third po pala. 1 third kasi this is 2 thirds 4 all over 6. Okay? Sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina, consider pa din tayo ng left side. So, kung mapansin ninyo to, wala ng loading. So, summation forces vertical is equal to 0 tayo. Upward is positive. Dito sa side na to, ano-ano yung mga values? Ang meron na lang is RO at saka U1, L2. So, RO upward minus U1, L2 cosine pa din. Cosine of your theta is equal to 0. So, we have 4 all over 6 minus U1 L2 0.8. Kasi, tignan nyo, ang cosine theta is 0.8, diba? Okay? Is equal to 0. Therefore, our U1 L2, kasi ito transpose natin to, is equal to 4 all over 6 divided by 0.8. So, your U1 L2 is equivalent to positive 0.83. So, ilagay natin dito. L2, positive 0 0.83. Since ito lang yung kailangan ko, ibababa ko na yan, ayangat ko rito, and then papunta rito sa 0. Ayan. So, that is my influence line for U1, L2. Next is, I have to determine L1 and L2. Okay? 
determine the member L1, L2 kasi ito tapos na natin L1, L2, so ito yun so this one ito, makakat natin ito makakat natin, yan so para makuha natin yung L1, L2 kasi ito yung pinaka main concern natin L1, L2 ano yung pwede natin gawin para matanggal itong si U1, L2, at saka U1, U2. So, pwede tayo dito mag-moment para ang matanggal itong dalawa at ang matira ay L1, L2. So, place muna natin dito yung 1.0 when unit load is at L2, uh, L1. Unit load is at L1. So, ibig sabihin, pag L1, 5 all over 6 yung reaction dyan. Ito lang naman ko consider natin. So, summation moment at U1 is equal to 0 clockwise is positive. Matatanggal na to, matatanggal na yan. Matitira ito. So, RO multiplied by, kasi 3 meters distance to. 3 meters, okay, minus, ito, counter, L1, L2. Ilan na distance? If this is horizontal, vertical yung quarter niyan. 4. And is equal to 0. So, ang mangyayari, okay, RO is given to be 5 all over 6. Na compute natin yan. So, 5 all over 6 multiplied by 3 is equal to L1, L2, 4. So, divided by 4, divided by 4. What is my L1, L2? L1, L2 is equivalent to 15 all over 24 or roughly this is positive 0 0.625. So, ayan yung kukuni. Ayan na yung value natin dito. Positive 0 0.625. Okay, from 0 up to yan. Next, when unit load is on the right side naman or at L2. Ilipat natin yung gulong dito sa kabilang side. Okay. When unit load is at L2, ibig sabihin, pag lumipat na yung gulong natin, dyan magbibago yung reaction. Ano yung reaction natin? Kanina, we have 4 all over 6 dito, ba? So, ilagay natin dyan 4 all over 6. 4 all over 6 dito naman ay 1 third. Pero hindi mo na kailangan to eh. Ito lang, itong side lang na to. So, all you have to do Dito ulit tayo mag-moment. Summation moment at upper, which is U1, is equal to 0 clockwise is positive. We have 4 over 6 multiplied by 3 minus L1, L2. Multiplied by, yun yung multiply natin, multiplied by 4. Okay. Ay, 4 ba? Tama, 4. Parang may kulang ako kanina. Kulang ata ako ng... Wait lang. Okay, tama. Kasi yung kanina, tumama pala sa U1. Kaya hindi ko na kinonsider yung 1 ha. Baka mama itanong nyo. Bakit yung kanina na dito yung, yung 1.0? Bakit hindi ko consider It's because matatamaan siya sa U1. Kaya hindi ko na siya kinonsider. Okay? So, L1, L2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 0. So, ito, lipat natin. So, we have L1, L2. 4 is equal to 4 over 6 multiplied by 3. So, we have divided by 4, divided by 4. L1, L2 is 0 0.5. So, that is, lagay natin dito, 0 0.5. Ibig sabihin, yung motions yan, papunta dun sa spot natin hanggang dito, ay pababa. Okay, lagay natin. So, from this point, that is 0.5, papunta na siya dito, which is 0. Ayan. Ito lang kasi yung pinakakailangan ko. Ayan. This is for L1, L2. Ano po? 0.5. Okay, next, we have U1, L1. Okay, dito naman, draw the influence line sa pangatlo, U1, L1. So, ito yun, U1, L1. So, first is yung unit load. Asan ba yung unit load nito? Ilagay natin before nito, bar na to, or before niyang member na yan. So, ilagay natin 1.0. So, consider the left side when the unit load is on 
L1 or at L0 na lang muna. So, L0, ibig sabihin, this is your reaction. Ibig sabihin, ito ay 0. Okay, next, kunin natin itong joints na to. So, pag kinuha natin yung joint na yan, at joint L1, kasi ito yung kailangan ko, U1, L1. Ito naman, L1, L2. Ito naman, L0, L1. Remember, wala naman dito yung unit load. So, ibig sabihin, your U1, L1 is equivalent to 0. You don't have to do any calculations kasi wala naman talagang loadings to. Okay? Next, if the unit load, okay, unit load nito ay nasa L1. Pero ito, unit load is at L ito L oh sorry ito ay L1 ayan kunwari itong unit load natin ay lumipat ayan gamitin ko ng green hat lagay ko rito ito wala na okay lumipat so ibig sabihin kunin natin yung joint naman joint ulit okay ito yung joint ito yung U1 L1 ito naman yung loadings na 1.0. Ito yung L1, L2. Ito yung L0, L1. So, yun ang ibig sabihin yan. U1, L1 is equivalent to 1. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay 1. Next, ilipat natin yung gulong dito. Gamitan natin ng color red. Okay? Kung ginamitan na natin ng color red, yan wala na to. So, ibig sabihin, Okay? When unit load is at L2. Check natin. This is U1, L1. This is U, oh sorry, L1, L2. And this is L0, L1. Since walang loading to, L0 or U1, L1 is equivalent to 0. So, 0. So, therefore, ito lang yung diagram for unit load ng L1, uh, U1, L1. Okay, so that's it for the influence line for trusses. Okay, so thank you.